unemployed gods. If you're done freezing your backside off in Midgard, maybe come back with Beardo there. Check up on your old pal Tyr. That's kind of you, bro. I may do just that. Well, all right then. I'll meet y'all back at the house. Lesson you want me to fix anything up first. Well, brother, care to meet our new allies? Or shall we depart? Oh, excuse me, can you stop and help a lady out, please? What is it? You ask me? I'll let out. So. What? Well. What is it? And if you. All you. What is. Just bring. Oh, and don't forget to keep an eye out for my old armor. I'll fix it up for you. Free charge! Hmm. What sort of orb do you imagine we're looking for, brother? I do not know. This will draw attention from your face at least. Actually, looks pretty good on you. Now don't let anyone tell you I can't handle delicate work. No refunds. I remember where to look for a gateway. Follow me. Well, you two seem to be getting on since completing your mission. Dare I hope this alliance has some staying power after all? It seems to me we share a common enemy. Kratos, you may not accept that Ragnarok is inevitable, but you're smart enough to know Odin is a threat. Whatever comes next, our best chance of surviving it is to work together. Do you agree? I do. Then as to Brock's offer, 
You can imagine staying under the same roof as a couple former enemies? No further temptations towards terrible vengeance? Not against you. Either of you. You have my word. This lock is different from others you might know. You'll need an enchantment on your chisel to use it. Bruna. Go ahead, carve the letter. Suna. It's an incantation. Suna. The elves in Freyr's camp mentioned a gate like this in our time. Get on about some sacred light elf sanctum out past the barons. A trip to Alfheim? Well, we can decide at the gateway. This boat should get us there if we can clear those vines. Remember what to do? My sigil arrow should help with those vines. <laughs> There's a fallen log in the river. It has something on it I don't recognize. Tears really alive? Aye. Not exactly ship shape. He sleeps in a broom closet now. But he's adjusting. How did you find him? Largely, that's down to Atreus having figured out how to access the prophecies giants reserved for their own kind. We only learned of it ourselves after Thor and Odin came calling. To your home? Is it still standing? Barely. But all the violence was seemingly just a distraction to let Odin have a private word with Atreus. Odin was alone with your son? Did he tell you what they spoke of? Yes. He said that Odin invited him to Asgard to help him find his answers. The answers he's rushing into fate in search of. That's troubling. Well, if you're ready to talk to him, the Mystic Gateway is ahead. If not, I have some unfinished business up this river I could use your help with. Or we can follow up on that elven sanctum out in Alfheim's desert. If you want to continue exploring, we'll need to remove that log in the river. Good. We can explore the river now. And hopefully right some old wrongs.
What is your unfinished business? I left something behind, near the falls. Your wedding site? Now why do you want to be going back there? To be free of the bonds of my marriage. And to Asgard. I think you severed that a long time ago. Not completely. Not enough. Guide us. My people settled this river many ages ago. Thousands traveled it on pilgrimage to the Shrine of Worship. But then the Aesir came. This is all that's left. Reavers. Of course. Brother, I had a thought. What if we took a stealthy approach to our next battle? No. That brazier. Maybe it could help with those vines. Another drawbridge. We'll need to lower it. Good thing you learned the runes, brother.
Something hanging from that tree above us. Could be useful. There must be a way to transfer the fire from one side to the other. Maybe we could use sigil arrows on the chandelier. Transfer the fire that way. like that work. <laughs> well, that did it. brother said. The ace here burned him. Yes. We weren't yet at war, but relations with the Vanir and Aesir had been hostile for ages. Freyr got it into his head that he could improve relations by sharing our magic with them. Vanir techniques for bountiful harvests, enough to feed their whole population. Getting set on fire was the thanks he got. That's true. The Aesir were too undisciplined and impatient for the subtlety of Vanir spellcraft. Enough. We will continue later. Ah! 
souls must be in agony. Then we shall give them death. Bearing Lunda's brand. Shame it's broken. Nice bit of work otherwise. Then why leave it? You suspicious of her, brother? If the orb she seeks is important, she would not have left it behind. Ah, uh, perhaps. <laughs> Anything illuminating? Crest, I'll take them. Ah, that's it. Waterfalls. We're close. There should be a gate up ahead. That's quite a gate. Don't suppose you know a way through. The Pilgrim Gate. I can open it. We just need to find the right vantage point. Astrid's garden. The wilds reclaimed it. It was beautiful once. Get ready! <laughs> 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 
weren't always this ravenous. The ecosystem. Spirit. Freya. Astra. The e My m Unique. I s too. I will. Why? The earth is a reflection of those who tend it. So long as the land is plagued, her soul will be as well. Oh, glad to see that still works. Looks like more of Lunda's old armor. Nearly have the complete set now. When my garden blooms, so will I soon. We have to destroy the Kroger. They're poisoning Astrid's garden. Life returns to the garden. Good. See that explosive? Setting it off will help. Ah, maybe you can hit it from a different angle. And still aches. There must be more poison somewhere. Digital arrows won't work on this. This mentions a spell that puts trolls to sleep, and a magic relic that acts as a sort of counter spell.
My garden is still as dead as I am, isn't it? See that explosive? <laughs> Setting it off could help. Huh. Maybe you can hit it from a different angle. <laughs> the family crest of Henir. There's a way inside while you're up there. Whoa. Learn anything? We have no angle on it. We should climb. Find a better vantage point. Let's return to Astrid. 
The land. It's alive yes. again. Your garden grows again. Freya, how did you... It's okay, Astrid. It's time to move on. Thank you, goddess. And I... You've done a great kindness. A temporary one. The garden will die again. All things do. That is no reason not to try. Oh, yes. Well, the Aesir grew all too easily impatient with the subtle agricultural magic Freya had offered to school them in. So when things went wrong, they blamed their teacher. So Freya was a guest when Odin burned him? Not exactly. Odin didn't mind locking Freya up. He saw the potential of the magic and wanted to know more than how to improve crop yields. It was a mob of lesser Aesir, bitter and short-sighted who tied him up and lit him aflame as punishment for the sabotage they imagined him guilty of. Obviously, he survived. In fact, he used the opportunity to escape. But such an affront made war inevitable. Freyr certainly wasn't the same after that. At least for a while. His carefree ways were replaced with nightmares, paranoia, and lashing out. It doesn't excuse what he said at my wedding, but... I do understand where his anger came from. the inside of that building. Can you see anything valuable in there? No! The gate's open. We can head back and get inside. in Midgard, Atreus does still care for you. I know. I raised a son, too. It may be hard to believe, but he was quite similar to Atreus at this age. He adored his father, always wanted to do right by him, and was constantly frustrated. Hold that thought. I think it's about to get violent. Whoa! 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 
Freya, there's something I've always wanted to ask. What was it Hrimthur whispered to you? Who? Hrimthur, the son of Thormur, the stonemason, who disguised himself and built Asgard's wall. Oh, yes. One of the many occasions Odin saw fit to involve me in a wager without my consent. I wish I could say that was the worst of his husbandly habits. What wager? I've told this story, brother. And now she may tell her own. There isn't that much to tell. I knew nothing of it at first, surely because Odin didn't expect to lose the bet. A mysterious mason had to build the entire wall in three turns of the season. Two! It was two! And if he was late, he'd be owed nothing. But if he succeeded, he was promised ah, an audience. enough of that for now. Before you see the lad again, might we discuss an approach? He will tell me where he has been. That is my approach. Ah, classic Spartan diplomacy. Wait. Did you say Odin invited him to Asgard, and then he disappeared for two days? Aye. But surely the lad's got more sense than to- Don't underestimate Odin's powers of persuasion. He filled my son's head with lies. Why wouldn't he do the same with yours? That sucker, he owes me one. Thank me now and eternally. Well, looky there. Glad you could make the trip, your goddessness. I put your sigil magic on the young turd's bow, but then he and Sindri got into it over something. Mm, I don't rightly know who's yelling at who in there, but I figure they both got it coming. Come on, then. Hey, Tyr! Wake up! You got company. Now, why don't you just make yourself at home in Sindri's so-called study over yonder? You're sure he won't mind? Mind? He'll be thrilled. Joint's getting classier by the day. Can it be? I never thought I'd have the pleasure of seeing you again, Frick. Don't. I am so, so sorry, dear. He was only a boy when I saw him last, but I know he meant more to you than anything. You better screw his head back on, and I mean tightly. So you're back. Are you ready to answer me? About what? Where did you go? Who did you see? Was it Odin? What? Is that what you think? Do you deny it? Answer me! Did you go to Asgard? No! Of course not! But so what if I did? 
It's my future. It's my life. You are my son. Then why don't you trust me? If you want me to trust you, then tell me the truth. The truth is you're being a complete asshole. Laddie, you know that's no way to change a man's mind. He doesn't have any faith in me. It's fine if he keeps secrets. It's fine if Mom did. That is not fine. Her secrets ought to be stuck with this path. Oh, okay. So you don't believe in her anymore either? This is not about your mother. What you have done is lie. Wonder where I learned that. That's quite enough. Since when do you always take his side? Since he became the one making sense. Look, I was only thinking about going to Odin. But I swear it's for a good reason. There is no good reason to go to Odin. He'll only cloud your mind. But I'd be going for us. I, I gotta stop something bad from happening. Something bad did happen. Look at me, at Freya, at Tia. Odin did this to us. What's well, got everyone caterwauling all of a sudden? Atreus wants to go to Asgard. Asgard? Get kicked in the head or something? Great. I guess everybody's against me now. You must choose who you're going to be. Are you going to continue to lie and keep things from me? Or are you my son? Choose? I never get to choose. Just leave me alone. Listen. Let go of me. Listen. Dad, let go <laughs> what the fuck? I'm trying it. It's Sindri. Just, just try to keep control. <laughs> Definitely in Midgard. Keep it coming. You're just helping me stay warm. These things! When did it get so bad out here? The Alpha! <sighs> Gotta find some shelter. Something out here doesn't want to kill me. I just need someplace warm. Then I can figure out where to go next. Uh, that doesn't look good. What is this thing? Some kind of white? Jump up! Ha! 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 
trying to tell me something? First, he thinks I've been to Asgard. Then, Lyme. I'm trying to save your life, you big jerk! Gotta get out of the corner. Find shelter and then what? Where could I go? If I go to Asgard, following the prophecy where Father ends up dead, if I stay locked up at home, there's nothing I can do to stop it. I guess in Asgard, I could at least keep an eye on Odin. Be a spy. Find out his plan. Get control of this. Oh, who am I kidding? I can't go to Asgard. Wait, are those red leaves? Freya's house. Oh, no. Charlie! Oh, no. Charlie! Please. Please! Charlie! You have to do this. I... I can't... help if you don't... Emily! Emily!
I know, buddy. I know. It's cold in here. <sighs> I should close that window before snooping around. Freya hasn't been checking on you? Right. Too busy hunting us down. Come on. Let's get you warmed up. Should be able to make a fire from all this mess. Wow. It's beautiful. Never seen anything like this around here before. From her home in Vanahan? She must have really missed it. I can't believe she never came back to check on her house. To check on you. That's not an excuse. He's here for me. I'll be okay. I think. Okay. I'm ready. Take me to him. Should have learned to swim before Midgard froze over. <laughs> 